Hello. I answered my door this morning and my postman gave me one of these things. He's such a nice guy. He also gave me two of these. I really like my postman. Now this thing is a controller board for a brushless gimbal and the two motors of course are the brushless motors that go on the gimbal and what you're supposed to do with these is arrange them like this so that they hold a camera and there's also a little accelerometer module that comes with it and it senses when the camera is off uh, it's uh, rotated in pitch and roll and it corrects it so that the camera is always level now what I am going to do with this obviously is I'm going to do exactly that but I thought just before I get to putting it together into a gimbal I'd try my hand at making an inverted pendulum with these parts because the um, controller board obviously has a motor driver on it and um, it's all set up there and it's actually a um, 328p regular Arduino on there so uh, I can use the Arduino ID which I'm familiar with um, anyway I'd seen these inverted pendulum thingies on in videos on YouTube and so on and I wanted to give it a try and I actually bought a couple of little things last year when I started to get into Arduino to try it and then I decided it was a little bit too hard at the time and I gave up but anyway now that I've got these um, things I also got these little wooden off cuts that I'd had from other things and I started putting it together I cut the little pieces of wood into even littler pieces of wood and drilled some holes to mount onto the motors on one side and stuck it together in this frame so that it could uh, go between the motors and the controller board the other important thing is to have something to go between the motors and the ground because as you can see the edge of the motor that the part that turns and the part that doesn't turn are exactly the same diameter so you can't put the motor directly on the ground and expect it to drive along and I thought I would uh, get a, a round disc of some kind and stick it on the outside of the motor for that and I was having a lot of trouble figuring out how I was going to do this uh, until I fished around in a box of stuff and found some, this um, toy car that I bought last year and this was what I actually bought originally to try and do this inverted pendulum thing you can see at the back of this car on the right there's a huge um, like plastic uh, wing thing sticking out there was actually one of those on the front and you can see I've smashed it off because that was going to be the the base of my inverted pendulum um, so like I say I never got around to that but notice the tires on there they're nice and grippy and I found that I could pull those off and it was a bit of a stretch because the the brushless, brushless motors on the gimbal are a fair bit larger but once they were stretched around those motors it was the perfect perfect thing so I was really glad I didn't throw that little toy car away so as far as the physical construction of the thing goes that's about it really there wasn't much more to it than that um, on the software side there was a few things that needed changing here you can see this is what happens when you just run the default software settings without um, without changing anything at all surprisingly it actually uh, it did kind of stand up a little bit occasionally uh, but you can see it's just jittering around and of course pitch and roll are being used separately on the wheels at the moment so the first thing I did was to use roll on both of the wheels and that improved things a little bit um, then I also needed to change the PID settings and um, I also found that I needed to hard code a, a set point, an angle that I wanted it to return to other than zero. There may be a way to do that in the code that I couldn't find but um, I just hard coded it so that it tried to stay at 17 degrees from vertical instead of zero degrees from vertical and the reason for that is because when I stuck the battery onto the side there the battery would um, weigh one side heavier than the other and it would just tend to uh, fall over in that direction so anyway this is the best I've managed to get at this point without a proper rewriting of the code to handle the fact that the um, the whole thing is accelerating to one side or another uh, I don't think we can get much further so if I if I um, tap this one way or the other it's just going to keep accelerating in that direction because 
it's not preemptively trying to um, adjust its angle to account for the fact that it's actually tipping over. It's just trying to straighten itself up, but it's not doing it quick enough. And I don't think this is something that the PID settings on their own are going to be able to handle. Um, so that's why I say this is as far as I'm going to take it for this this time around. But since I've made this little frame here and I've got these motors now, I might come come back and visit this another time and see if I can add a little NRF24 L01 module on there some somewhere and see if I can drive it around. That would be fun. Anyway, thanks for watching.